How's everyone doing? So, it's Yu-Gi-Oh day, and uh, I'm I'm fine, Shadow. I just been kind of exhausted because I had a bunch of stuff to do before stream. Um, uh, I hope you feel better soon, Shadow. Oh, anyway, so it is Yu-Gi-Oh day. Before we get into Master Duel, I went to Locals yesterday. Uh, this is my first time going to Locals since the ban list. And uh, as usual, I played Cyber Sleep Romancer, but this time I had to do it without, uh, but now I have to do it without Circular, and it was... Honestly, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I think my new build of the deck still kind of works. I'll go over um, how I did and stuff. Uh, this is the list I played. Again, got that 2-2 ratio of addition and subtraction that make up for losing circular. And still got Sigma and the Foolish Burial and the free diameter just to make sure... I can get the cyber switch um, without circular. I'll, I'll talk about how my like, hands have felt uh, after I go over uh, how locals went. Um, the first round, um, round one was against speedroids. Um, I won the die roll. I opened pretty well. I was able to go for Cyber Switch and do the full line because the hand was something like was like Ritual Geek Boy Access. Yeah, because it was like Ritual E Telly Fire Subtraction and a Hand Trap. So I was able to do the pull line, get to my end board, my usual end board of like Doom Broker plus IP plus Heat Soul, right? So I had my intervention. I had two hand traps because I drew uh, an effect veiler off of uh, off of uh, Heat Soul, and I already had an Ash in hand. So I was able to do the pull board and. Intervention plus two hand traps was able to stop a lot of the speedroid plays, even with the two terra top now that they have now. Um, Singularity and face the bouncer back rolls with the cherry on top because I know they set duplicate because I know they search duplicate at one point with something or uh, wait, wait, I, wait I think I ash something different than normal, like, I let them resolve Prosperity, and I saw them add dupl Duplicate off Prosperity, so I, I made Singularity and held for End Phase to bounce to Duplicate, so they couldn't Duplicate me at some point. And I didn't want to pop Duplicate with Access Code, because I know Duplicate has a Grave Effect. Um, so that was pretty clean. The Ash and the Effect Veiler did a lot of work um, as an intervention and stuff, so that worked out pretty well. Game 2, I was going second, obviously, so, and I did not draw the Sighted Dark Ruler or Kaiju to break through Quirling's, uh, Quirling, Quirling and Baron. Because so they went Quirling, Baron, and I think Bike. And then game three, and I, I in game two I tried to play through uh, the the Baron and the Clearling, but they had Droll and that sealed it. And yeah, I scooped after they drolled me up from behind Baron, so there was nothing I could do. Like I had called by, but it didn't matter because Baron negated called by to ensure Droll resolved. 
Um, so... Um... So, game three, I sighted in my droll and, uh... Oh, well, both of my crossout targets in Droll and Nibiru, along with crossout. And I went first. I was able to do the whole board again. Uh, well, with one interesting piece. I activated the Heat Soul on their turn pretty early into their turn. And I drew I drew my Droll that I sighted with, for, as a crossout target. And I was able to Droll them, which turned off a lot of their searching potential. Like, I don't think they opened Prosperity. They had to resolve, like, like uh, speed roid searches. Like, they had to get stuff off of, like, the speed roid search cards. And they couldn't after I drilled them. So. God, Droll is so game-determinative, this format. Um, but anyway, I won that round. Uh, round two was against Pearly. Uh, this was surprising because I lost the die roll, but I 2 owed them. Um, game one, I ha I opened, like, Effect Veiler and Ash. And they had a lot of trouble playing through both of those hand traps. I Ashed the Mi Amigo, and I... I think, I think I affect Valor Pro Lily. They tried to, uh, and they whipped on their Pearly because of the, the quick play hits, because there's only two Sleepy and one Delicious now. Uh, they're Pearly Myths, so they couldn't really get to anything. Um, so yeah, the quick play hits have, like, done a lot to hurt Pearly's consistency. So on the crackback, I was able to just do an access code line and win. Uh, game two, I did the full board. I opened pretty much the god hand. Both Libra access plus a plus a math back extender is pretty much the god hand for this deck. Um. Intervention and the Save Worm did a lot against the Pearly spells. And then Dark Lude just prevented them from hit, uh, from doing any gambling with their cats and they couldn't do anything. Because, uh, because of the Dark Lude tokens. Oh, yeah, the, the, the hits to Pearly really made Pearly a lot more... Uh, susceptible to high hand traps and negation. So, two sleepy, one delicious has been kind of rough for Pearly. Uh, Poly matters, uh, matters with those click plays being, being semi unlimited for Pearly so far more than losing circular has been for me. Um, I would still, you know, circular is important and all, like, not having a location sucks, but I'll get into that in a minute. Um, round three was against Synchron. Uh, this was the absolute opposite of the last game. Because this wasn't just any regular, oh my god, I need my junk speeder to resolve Synchron deck. By Synchron deck, I mean Calamity Turbo. Crimson Dragon Calamity Turbo. Um, that uses like a Revolution Synchron line to just make Crimson Dragon, and then they just Calamity lock you. And then they just kill you with like Crystal Wing and the uh, other big Synchros on the crackback. Well, since I lost the die roll, I didn't have interaction to stop their synchro combo, so I lost the Calamity Lock. I opened the- it also didn't help that I opened the first DVT hand in the game, but it's not like I was even getting to DVT, uh, after getting Calamity Locked. 
GameCube I just got drolled and didn't open it out for it. It's amazing to me, by the way. Because I got drolled, uh, I passed turn because I got drolled. They set up the Clamby Lock again, and then I could play again because of the Clamby Locks again. So, it's it just it just baffles me. They had a chance to ban King Calamity, but no, they went. Um, actually, think Circular is a bigger threat than King Calamity is. I heard that on Joshua Schmidt Plus. On a video on Joshua Schmidt Plus. It's circular that's the problem with the format. Not not an auto win plug gate that like every freaking singular uh, 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 synchro deck can just make. And just plug gate, just auto win games. Well, it's much more problematic to have a link extender that's a little too good. That's what needs to be banned. Not a, a floodgate that literally just leads win the game. Please. It's just wild to me that King Clavity got the stay and Circular had the go. Uh, round 4 was against Bestial Dragon Link. I won the die roll here. Game 1, absolutely clean. They had Droll, but I had... But I... I, I said I had Cross out here, but no, I had Called by the Grave, actually. I misremembered. Because this was Game 1. I w I, it, it was Called by the Grave I had. So I Called by their Droll. So uh, Droll's not a threat. So, I did my full board. Um, and God, using the save worm on the, on the, on the, uh, now at one chaos space just feels so good. And I had intervention for quick launch. So, they really couldn't do much. I think they ended up having the seals pass after uh, getting denied both click launch and and uh, chaos space. I mean, they tried to go for like striker dragon and Romulus, but they couldn't really do anything more than reach seals pass because I also had an effect veiler for. Uh, I think I veilered like their their tracer. No, I veilered safer right. I veiled their safer and they couldn't really do much other than Seals Pass at that point. Um then I just I, I just I just killed them on the crackback with I didn't even need Axe Code, like I could uh, from uh, from the position of Seals Pass I just needed a way to out the seals and then I could just go okay, fire burst plus plus like like uh Heat Soul plus Fire Burst can kill from that position. If I'm remembering right. I think I made access code just to be safe, but... Uh, game 2, I had the Dark Ruler. So I tried my best to clear the board with, with the access code line. But they had, imp they had infinite impermanence for access code. And then they just... They just made the whole D-Link board and killed me. Uh, and, and was just able to kill me for that position. Um, and then game three I went first, but it was a DBT hand, unfortunately. So I had to go a DBT line. I had Valor for when they tried to make Savage after I used Intervention on the Chaos Space. But they had talent, so they were able to steal. Uh, 
um, because I had already used IP by that point, and I had made sing uh, I made Dark Fluid rather than Singularity, and because they have the talents, and I used my spell in the gates already. I used both Intervention and the Save Worm to stop Chaos, uh, to to stop the Chaos space and the uh, and try to stop Click Launch. I didn't have. Uh, I didn't have a spell in the gate for talents, which they cooked me with after I I used inter intervention on chaos phase. After I uh, I I used Valor on Savage, so that way they couldn't use Savage to protect their chaos space. Um, but they had talents, so they stole my dark fluid and killed me with my own dark fluid because it was a free token dark fluid. It was big enough to just kill me. So I kind of got cooked by triple tactic talent. I should have maybe held the spell in the gate in case they had talents. The final record was like 2-2. Two, two. And honestly, I don't know how I feel with no circular and no, and the snow placement and super factorial. I think the only game where I feel like ha having circular and thus having access to Laplacian would have saved me was maybe the D-Link game. Like, I think if I had access to Laplacian and an extra negate along with the Laplacian sends and the hand rip, I could have maybe hand ripped their talent. Um, and I would have had an extra negate on board. I feel like maybe having Laplacian might have made that game free against Dragon Link go go a little better for me, but but I'm still impressed that I was still able to manage a a half and half record without circular. And obviously I made some misplays too, like I misplayed in that Dragon Link game. If I had held the spell in the gate in case they had talents, I could have maybe won. I'm not sure. Um, but I had a lot of fun, even with no circular. The deck seems, still seems fairly consistent. It just means that you have to make DVT a lot more, you have to do DVT lock more, uh, you have to lock yourself under DVT a lot more. But, and your hands are a little bit weirder, but I'm not noticing that many hard bricks with this build. Um, just because I don't have circular. The big thing is you just don't have access to super factorial and multiplication anymore. And yes, there are times where, like that, that third Dragon Link game, where I feel like maybe if I had multiplication, I could have maybe won. But honestly, if I had played smart, I probably could have won anyway if I had been a little more cautious with my spell and trap negates. Um, and like, and like the, like the Synchron game, I don't think could have been won even with Circular. Because I was all, back when I had Circular, I was still losing to King Calamity Locks anyway. So that wouldn't have solved that problem. And I was still losing to Drone Lockbird, like, having Circular didn't really help you there. I think that one Dragon Link game is the only game I can think of where I feel like maybe if I had, still had Super Factorial and Laplacian Circular, I could have maybe won a game that I lost, but that was it. But, I don't know, I'm pretty happy with the list. I might change some stuff with the side deck. I don't know if I need Kaijus anymore because Pearly seems a, a lot weaker now. Like, I didn't even side the Kaijus against Pearly game 2 because I know, I, I figured that, like, I could probably stop them even making the Noir in the first place given how well game 1 went. 
I don't know, I might still want them around for, like, some other, like, Tower Z thing. They're, uh, the, uh, the kaijus are pretty clean out to things like Pepino. You can use them to out other stuff. But I'm not really convinced I need them as much anymore. Maybe I'll go to, like, one kaiju and just side some other stuff. And Ghost Ogre, I feel like there have been times where I've sighted Ghost Ogre and it's been amazing. Like... There have been times where, where I activated Ghost Ogre and nuked something that activated an effect and I was pretty good, uh, pretty happy with it. Where I would, like, get rid of, like, a Hydrant and I would be happy. But the times I tied in Ghost Ogre are pretty rare. Maybe I should cut them for another hand trap. Maybe... Maybe if another graveyard deck emerges, we can, like, go Crow or Bell, but I'm not sure. Maybe I could, like, replace them with evenly matched. I'll have to see. But that will do it for my locals report. Thank you for listening. Um, I'm pretty happy with the list. So, without further ado, let us transition to Master Duel.